everything that you need to know about your marriage, everything that you need to know about your relationship, about your friendships, about this person that you're newly seeing, about your job, everything you need to know is already here. It's just that you're afraid to look there. You're afraid to open up the lid. It's a simple conversation. So if you're dating somebody and they're not getting back to you, you say to them, hey, I really like you. What's going on? I would like to know if you're into this or not. Or if your husband or wife, if they're not communicating with you and they're always shutting down, then you have to insist, hey, are we gonna choose love or not? Because I'm committed to myself and I need people who are on board with commitment towards themselves. But so all the answers that you want and that you're searching for are here. But we do this really silly thing as humans where we keep postponing what we actually want. In other words, you're building all this unnecessary suspense, <laughs> saying things like, oh, I wonder if he's gonna call me back. It's like I walk by people all the time who talk that way. Yeah, our date was good and I haven't heard from him. It's like, well, find out. <laughs> when are we gonna finally grow up and find out? The more that you shine your light on this world, which is another way of saying, the more that you speak your truth from an honest and vulnerable place, I'm not talking about from an egoic place, but from an honest and vulnerable place, the more you're allowing your light to cascade on your life. And that reveals the truth. You, that truth is already here now. It's just that you're concealing it by not wanting to face it, by not wanting to ask those questions. So don't torture yourself. This is not the kind thing to do. Put yourself first. Prioritize your feelings. Your feelings are always communicating to you if there's something that you need to know. I, say, I always tell my clients, uh, feelings are like fortune cookies. You have to crack open that fortune cookie to find out what the message is. But if you're feeling off, if you're feeling uncertain about where you stand in this relationship, if you're feeling sad because your husband never opens up to you, that feeling is communicating something to you. There's a message in there. That feeling isn't just existing haphazardly, it's existing because it wants you to crack it. In other words, to crack your heart open and get real about what you want. So don't keep delaying the life that you ultimately want. Get honest with yourself about how you feel in this moment and the right person will accommodate that. They will support you in how you feel. If they shut down, they're not your person. Why? Because everything you need to know is already here. The present moment is truly all that exists. So when you romanticize and you fantasize about the future or you see someone else's potential, that is not the present moment. That is you getting whirled up and swirled up in some fantasy based on your, your state of disempowerment Hoping, hoping has to do with the future. I'm saying live now. Find out the truth now. The, the, the present moment is all there is. It's kind of wild to think about, right? <laughs> the present moment is all there is. So even when it comes to your negative thinking, those negative thoughts don't exist in the present moment. It's not possible because the universe would want you to relax right now. It would want you to not think. It will want you to do something enjoyable. But these intrusive thoughts that you have throughout the day that produce anxiety and stress, all of those thoughts are either coming from the past or the future, without exception. They're trying to pull you out of your center. They're trying to suck you in to some probability that isn't here now. Now, I'm not saying you can't have fun with that. You can turn into an algorithm if you want. I do it all the time. But as I've matured in my life, I know that it's an exercise in strengthening my core. It's an exercise in strengthening the present moment, my center. So when I have a, a negative thought, I tell myself that's a toxic relationship because that thought is not physically in my room. It's trying to pull me into some horrible scenario in the future, trying to make me regret something about my past, trying to guilt me, that's not love. If it's trying to pump fear in me, that's not love. I know what love is, and true unconditional love can only be found in the present moment. That it, the present moment is unconditional love. It's trying to wrap you in a warm blanket 
It's trying to, it's trying to get, accelerate your life. But a lot of us don't want to look there. We don't want to face the music, as they say. We don't want to face the truth. If the guy that you're dating isn't calling you back, don't build suspense. That's not kind to yourself. Text him and ask him what's going on. Say, hey, I really like you. I want to get to know you. How do you feel? If he says, I'm not sure, he's not ready for you. Because if he can't be ready now, then he's only ready in some probable future. And that probable future isn't now. That's not happening now. So don't be afraid to open up your heart. Don't be afraid. The right person will be there for you. The right person will want to do life with you. But you already know everything. You're not allowing yourself to feel it and then to act on it. You know if you're miserable at your job. That feeling is telling you something. So then you have two options. Stay there and be patient and change your attitude. In other words, change yourself inside. Right? Look on, look, you have to look on the bright side of things. That job is putting money in your pocket. Okay? So rather than going, with a, going in with a shitty attitude, you're saying, I don't like my job, but right now I need it. Or you quit. But the other option, which is what you're doing, which is complaining, isn't the right option. Because you're the one that applied for that job. You wanted to get hired. You got hired. But now you're complaining about the fact you got hired. That makes no sense. There's no common sense in that. No one's forcing you to be there. So you either maturely choose to stay and you work on yourself and your attitude and you try to be grateful for the fact that you're, it's putting money in your pocket or you leave. But that feeling is telling you what you need to do and what you're not doing. And this applies across the board. This is why I love doing the work that I do because it's not one area that we're tackling. It's not an area that we're tackling. It's you that we're bringing to life. You as the potential that you are. We're bringing it to life here and now. Rather than allowing it to lurk in the shadow. Rather than allowing it to hide in the cave. You have to come out of the cave. You have to open up your mouth. You have to speak. You have to share. You have to get vulnerable. You have to express how you're feeling. This will reveal the truth to you. Every single time. Every single time. Why? Because the present moment is all there is. If someone is trying to skirt the issue, if they're trying to dance around what you're bringing up, they're not in the present moment. They're, uh, 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 they're trying to dodge a bullet. Uh, uh, no, the present moment is right here. You have to demand answers. The and, 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 and they won't be able to wiggle out of it. The truth is already here. Now tune into your feelings and crack that fortune cookie open. What is it trying to tell you? You'll find out when you finally have that conversation. You'll find out when you finally get honest with yourself. Don't be afraid to get honest with yourself. Getting honest with yourself is the most empowering thing you can do, even if you end up getting rejected. Why? Because you're telling the universe, I'm ready to move forward. I'm ready to amount to my highest potential in this life, even if it means I don't get my way right now. I'm determined to get there. And the only way you can get there is by being more of you now. More of you now. That will shine a light on everything that you need to know.